Hi, this is Chris. Today I will talk about how you can use the Internet of Things in the automotive sector. And I will show how you can monitor driving behavior with a smart and connected device. Even if the future holds the promise of self-driving cars, it will probably take some time before that becomes the main way of driving. Until then, safe driving practices is what will keep us safe on the roads. To promote good driving practices, a device could monitor excessive acceleration and braking and even import that data to the cloud for further analysis. This could even be interesting for the insurance sector, as insurance companies can offer better premiums to better or calmer drivers. Let's build a device that monitors driving behavior and sends its data to the ThinkSpeak cloud where it can be further analyzed using a shard. In this video I will use the phone aboard again and for more information about it please see my previous video called Internet of Things in Travel Baggage Tracking. If you prefer to communicate using your smartphone please see my video Internet of Things Wearable Sensors and if you have a 3G router in the car see the video Internet of Things in Transportation. However, the important component here is the accelerometer module, which will sense movement in any of the three dimensions. To connect everything, you need a breadboard and nine jumper wires. To set up the hardware, you start by disconnecting everything from its power source and then connect the pins according to the table and diagram here. The GSM module connects just like in my previous video. The accelerometer module connects VCC and ground as usual and then the Arduino A0 to X, A1 to Y, and A2 to Z. This is the Arduino code or sketch to check for acceleration above a threshold and report such occurrences over GPRS to the server. And after the initial include of the software serial library on line 1, a variable is created for it on line 2. Constants for the accelerator pins are defined on lines 4 to 6, followed by some variable declarations on line 7. In the setup, the software serial communication is initiated on line 11, then the APN for my operator is configured, and the GPRS connection is opened on line 14. The eternal loop starts by getting the values from the accelerometer on lines 20 to 22, and check whether acceleration in any dimension is greater than the threshold on line 23. If it is, an HTTP connection is initiated on line 26, the URL is set on line 28, and the request is made on line 30. The HTTP connection is terminated on line 32, and then the previous values are saved on line 34 to 36. You sign up for a ThingSpeak account and create a new channel to get the API key for writing that you need to insert into the code. When you run the code on the device while it's moving fast enough to pass the threshold, you will start seeing the values in the chart on the channel page, similar to this. Note that ThingSpeak is open source, so you could set it up on your own server. So that's how you can use the Internet of Things in the automotive sector. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.